Okay. Welcome to the May 21st meeting of the Board of Council Trustees. I'm going to call this meeting to order at 7 o'clock on the dot. I now entertain a motion to adopt the minutes of May 7th as amended or presented or corrected. Uh, I move. It's a couple little things. What I need is a. <laughs> I move the adoption of the minutes. The minor, very minor. Uh, Motion, I'll second that. Uh, any further discussion regarding that adoption? Hearing none, may we vote, please. Mr. Hollister? Yes. Mr. Meacher? Yes. I now move <coughs> for an adoption of the payment bills the amount of $24,157.54, broken down general fund $17,50.16, fire fund $14,416.38, cemetery $206.86. Oh, I still remember. I like those numbers. MS building 3587 67, road bridge 374841, and capital projects 448 oh, okay. uh, I so move. There's a motion, and I will second that. Any further discussion regarding the adoption of the payment of those accounts? Um, yes. <laughs> Our assistant chief is Mr. IT, Mr. Tech, Mr. Everything, and, and he pays. Sales tax on some download of uh -oh. some software. Oh, yeah. What, what, which one was it? <laughs> oh, it was, I think it was the update for, uh, the only thing he bought recently was the update for QuickBooks. Yeah. Or, he uh, used yeah. that for the accounting for the anyway. AHA training center. You could work on that. So you're saying we don't have to pay the, we, we should be more consistent and not having to pay. We should be. Sales tax. He must have missed that. I would say better than I am, but I'm not very good. So. But, <laughs> I wasn't going to mention the dollar four and Michael's crafts that somebody obviously needed that. But anyway, that's my discussion on that. Uh, may we vote, please? Uh, Mr. Mutcher? Yes. Mr. Hollister? Yes. All right. Let's see. Correspondence for period. We have a Green County annual report. The Green County Convention Visitors Bureau Annual Report to come to come to land press for a newsletter. Old Mill News, uh, the old old Ohio <laughs> Township uh, News Magazine, the OTA Monthly Letter, Brass Clippings, Notice from USDA regarding the 2017 Yearly Finance Report. Boy, those are going to get old. Uh, notice from the Ohio EPA regarding Class D biosolids going out on Dave Linkart's property. Uh, Actually, Dave, there's waste. Oh, it's Roy's? Um, oh, 343? It's about 343. Just oh, yeah. Not, the, not, not as far along. Right. Unstats, revenue status, appropriation status. Any further correspondence? Well, I have one. Uh, this is an email to Representative Rick Perales. It reads, Dear Rick, I'm writing today to support House Bill 500, Township Omnibus Legislation Bill. I understand the State and Local Government Committee has scheduled it for a vote Thursday the 24th. I and the other members of the Township Board of Trustees, you got included there, um, strongly urge you to vote in favor of the bill when it comes before you. Thank you and thank you for attending to free support for Ohio Townships. Neat. So there, that was one addition. What was nice about House Bill 500? Uh, it's a bunch of stuff. All pertaining to townships, so that, you know, you can start charging for parking, and you can, you know, you can fire your your fire chief without any big to do. And yeah. your, you know, your, like, in your fiscal you officers, your what? fiscal officers' uh, days are numbered. Remember that last one they did? I think that was in the omnibus bill where it was the fiscal officer review procedure. All right, let's <laughs> move on to. Uh, Filling time here tonight, guys. To the fire department. Well, the interest of time, I didn't type the report. I was going to say, where, where is it? Um, I actually forgot. <laughs> I was like in another my own world today. Uh, so you're even lucky I'm here. Since the last meeting, we've had 32 EMS calls, eight fire calls, we've done six fire safety inspections, and I've issued two permits. Where are you inspecting? Is it downtown or other places? Just near there. Yeah. Um, I think one was at the Children's Center, the other one there. 
Is that too late? Cresco? Not really? Yeah. We have to inspect the marijuana. So. <laughs> well, right now, See if it's just, just, some, just concrete. There's no, no, that's what we would have said. There's nothing there. No, we have to, uh, I mean, there's a series of inspections, but we have to do the, uh, there's a separate water main that runs into the building for the fire suppression system. And we're required by law to go to the building department and inspect it. Which means, i.e., that we go, <laughs> looks like a pipe. What do you think, building inspector? But <laughs> are you going to have an auxiliary pump for that? Um, I do not know. I just got the plans this afternoon. I've had a chance to look at it. I would assume so, given the size of the, the building. But I, don't know. I didn't expect it to be that tall. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, is that the grow area in there? I mean, they do they do that in <coughs> that or something? That is the concrete part. Is the processing portion of the building, which they don't have their permit for yet. Uh, it's the offices, the processing part, and uh, my understanding. A secure room of sorts to keep the mother in there. Um, and a security office. And then, if you look at it, there's all these metal posts outside the building on the west side now. That's where the, that'll be the room. Hmm. House. Different subject. When you, last meeting you were, Order on the fire out on Yellow Springs Road, and then uh, at the state fire marshal had done a preliminary report. Did they come up with anything new in a final report? Not yet. No, he said he would leave it open three to five weeks, depending on the, what the insurance company wanted to do. I've heard from the office. And actually, I was in contact with the owner last week, and he said he hadn't, he hadn't heard from him. So I don't think there will be much of a change for they're preliminary, but yeah, it's possible. Um, oh, it's National Emergency Medical Services Week. So, you know, thank an EMG, have a heart attack, whatever you got to do. This is the week to do it. <laughs> so, uh, we're having a party tomorrow night for the troops. Good. To thank them for their stuff, their work. I'm not sure exactly what we're doing there, but it's, it's still a taking shape. Um, Wednesday at 3. Right here, Barry, uh, we'll be receiving a donation of $10,600 from the 100 Women of Green County Making a Difference group, um, earmarked for a uh, Lucas CPR device. Uh, so is it going to be any kind of ceremony or photo op or yep. uh, all of those? Yes. I know they've invited the press. Mm -hmm. They're handling all the uh, speeches of plenty. Oops. Speeches of plenty. I've been invited to wax eloquently on the, the benefits of automatic depression. <laughs> anyway, so I'll throw them in. Um, we definitely greatly appreciate their donation and at least the Goldberg's work in, in getting this done. So thank you, Lisa. Um, our uh, New power cot that we're getting through the workers' comp grant. Uh, the price went up, of course, between the time we got the quote in October and when we finally received the grant. Uh, so I think we have to shell in another eight hundred dollars. So I think we'll find that somewhere. Um, so it's shipping next week to Braun Ambulance and Van Work, and then July eleventh we'll take the ambulance up, uh, and they will install the charging system. And all Exactly the same as the one you have? Exact same model. Good. No relearning. Correct. That's exactly what we wanted. They have a new, the, the mounting system we have is just like this antler looking thing that you steer it into and mm -hmm. click. It's very old school. Uh, they've got a new one that's just a rail that goes down the center, and, um, which is now the only one you can get. But because of when we place the order, we're able to get the antlers. So both antlers would be exactly the same. And Braun estimates anywhere from, a, anywhere from a day to a week to do the install. So hmm. I'm hoping it's a little bit more than a day because it would upset me to drive to Van Wert, drop the ambulance off the back here and then call and say, hey, it's not there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was a trip to Van Wert. You ain't lived until you've done that oh, one. I've been there. <laughs> oh, that is, would you have had God's to retrofit yeah. the other one if you couldn't get the same hookup? Yes. Well, I mean, we could have two different ones. I mean, two different hooks, but 
I like not to do that whenever possible. So they can be interchanged? Uh, that would be the big problem. Is that, yeah, right now they can't. That's can, what I mean. You could have got it. We yeah, been. we wouldn't have been able to interchange the class with the Daniel Sandals. But, um, our new work, we've got our four new recruits that you approved last week, or two weeks ago, uh, are all on board and doing their orientations and everything, so they all seem happy. And so far. How's your new hourly scheduling working out so far? The, with the career staff, it's working really well. <laughs> um, we are still short part-timers, so we just sent the ad out again, uh, to, to fill in all the, the other slots in the daytime. Uh, Evan, Brett, and Ted are going there once every six days that we're supposed to, and they seem happy. Uh, Brett was really excited about it because it's easier for his schedule to know for the rest of his life, basically. <laughs> He's always going to work this day. Um, there were a little, you know, a couple staff who was as we started it. We started it, you know, one of the employees had already scheduled himself for something else on one of the days. So mm -hmm. um, we don't have, you know, we don't have the depth of part timers who are available to cover those holes yet. We'll get there. But volunteer staff have been stepping up to help cover those holes when they can't the day. Mm -hmm. It helps that it's in the summer and some more people can come on their classes. Mm -hmm. so. <laughs> but your full time people have, are settling into the yeah. routine of it. And more so than I am, because I keep trying to send them home at 7 p.m. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> um, except Nate, I tried to send him home before, but <laughs> luckily they're all on top of things. But yeah. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so far so good. You know, wood. Uh, classic. But yeah, classic laminate wood fake stuff. And then I'll be at the State House tomorrow morning testifying on behalf of House Bill 5 something. Not yours, but another five. We'll pop in and see Rick Prowls. Okay, yeah, I'll just we'll we'll drop in and say, hey, give him a glad hand about going for five hundred. He's across the street. Uh, I'll have to I'll have to check with my legislative agents and see what the uh, fire chiefs are. If we take a position on that, though, they've been very big on that. Don't say anything beside what we tell you to say. So. <laughs> but uh, for the volunteer income tax credit, though, it's hopefully working its way through. So, um, and, and that's it. Mm -hmm. See? Oh, I got a um, ceiling repair quote for uh, the station, for the Clifton kitchen, which collapsed following the roof leaks. Um, and I went ahead and authorized it. <laughs> it was like three hundred dollars. So I was going to suggest the mayor throwing on that one, but yeah, that's what I was going to suggest too. Right? <laughs> I got the quote from his dad. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so. so do you want me to send that? Put it. Uh, I think I authorized that one. <laughs> so. All right. Anything else for Chief? At least not directly. Should I? Um. I heard something just saying that was you. Oh, well, it could. We had a problem with bird up there before. Ted and Joe chased it away and sealed up what they thought was his or her accident. Well, actually, it was a couple, so. Oh. Yeah, there was a hole into the bay, and the birds come in, chill in the bay, and then they found this hole, and found this whole beautiful area that they could hang out in, and no one would even know, except they can't keep their mouth shut in the air. <laughs> if we keep our air out of the pool, yeah. I'll send Joe and Ted in there. Okay, now we're up to the new firehouse report. What excitement do we have for that this evening? You know. I know. Yeah, tell us. Oh, <laughs> advertise. The project yes. is out for bids as we speak. I ran once last uh, Monday in the daily paper. We ran a second time today in the daily paper. We'll run a third time next Monday. And then I don't have the time frame, but there's a, a small amount of small window, and then the bids will be due. Mid Early, no, early June? Not early June. Probably mid June. And then we've got a couple weeks that we review them for, for whether they are acceptable or not, or just one that we want. I think we will potentially award it um, second, second meeting in July. So we'll see. See what comes in. And frankly, other than that, I don't think anything else. So, we 
we shall move on to the uh, cemetery for the day. Okay. Our bases are done. Just waiting on stuff. Uh, and we're going to clean up the cliff and cemetery this week. It looks bad, doesn't it? It's brand new back from this. Tomorrow. Oh, okay. They're coming back today. Mm -hmm. I missed it. It's like a, when I just think I'm going to die. We have paid for two of them already. We only want to get paid for them. It was uh, three every four. Four of them. And then I'll put some of that there to report. But I'm ready. I'm ready for it. Roger Weed was meeting in today. He was going to be ready for the weekend. I saw that he was doing that. Then they went out to the other cemetery. I, I saw they were out there too. <laughs> uh, I'll put the flags and the poles out Friday for the uh -huh. For the service I'll get them Friday morning. So they're ready. Did they but contacted you or? No, but I get them out and get them ready. So when they do, I can tell them. Usually they can call me. Yeah. I don't know if this meeting is going to air <laughs> before Memorial Day. I'm not sure what the schedule is, but they're. There will be an event to rededicate the canon on the Saturday morning. the twenty sixth or Memorial Day. I got it. It's it's a, that weekend. It's that weekend sometime. Yeah. So I told Roger to try to get to go up there. Are you gonna fire it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's Supposedly the rumor is that if it was fired, and it could be fired, but it didn't take some work, but it, I mean it's open, the barrels the barrels open. If it's the normal charge of, of when it was built, it's kind of complicated. It would take down one of the spires at Antioch. Really? Kelly Hall. You mean it's, if it was pointed in that direction? It is pointed in that direction. That's that's where it's pointed. To. It would, the cannonball would go all the way out that way? Yes. Mm -hmm. That's not that far from the cannonball. It's pointed this way? I thought it was pointed right at the police station. So it's pointed kind of this way? <laughs> no, it's pointed that way. Sure. Is that some kind of sign? Uh, th this pertains <laughs> to what agenda item? It's a cemetery. Cemetery. Oh. Okay. We need to take out the college. We've got to do it now. This is item number seven. No way. I can't believe that would happen. Okay, what? Okay, I have put flowers in the cemetery in the... Um, in the one grave that you do every year? Yeah. In the six graves in the one, on the one lot. So I can't remember the person's name. I can't remember the we discovered a, a, a paper through in, the, in the files when we took over Glen Forest from the association um, that a woman had endowed the association with a certain amount, I think it was $100, and she wanted, she asked for, and they agreed to it, to put flowers on Memorial Day on her relative's grave, which then included her after a so this goes, goes back how many years? Uh, it goes back a while. A hundred years? No, I don't think it's that much. It's in the twenties or something. Yeah, it's it's almost. 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 So we decided that we would honor that request. Um, I like that. And uh, so every year since we slash I've been putting flowers on the grave. And <laughs> the old flower pots from last year's are still there. <laughs> So I took them and disposed of them. <laughs> Some things never change. <laughs> um, but yes, I'm expecting the cemetery to look very nice this weekend since, since we got a little head start on it. So we can get to it. Good. So I've sure. got a burial Thursday in Clifton. So. Actually, I'm going to leave tomorrow once to buy four graves. Yeah, you told me. Well, Bernie, I think, wants to buy eight, maybe 12. Oh, this is different? This is different. Wow. She wanted more afternoon. Yeah, she wanted to buy at least eight. Mm. And there's like three lots. I might like, just buy that, too. They're available if you're in there. This is a question? Mm -hmm. It should be calling because there's some mail in the information. No matter the check in. But I said, call and let me know which one you chose so I can make you a note <coughs> for Bernie. It's down by the Hayes. But the lady tomorrow is associated with the burial for Thursday. Mm -hmm. and she's going to meet me there tomorrow afternoon. I said, I'll be there. That's did, about all I got for something. Did, did we get a check from Green Township? 
Cemetery business before the board this evening? Hearing none, we'll move to the road. Okay. I guess we can pull one on the list for you, for Gypsy. You can put Jacoby on that list? Ooh. <laughs> you know, we kind of planned on doing Jacoby before the village started on the. Right, and we held up because, yeah. of, because of the building process. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. Do you want it on there? <clears throat> if you can get it. Wasn't there something else that you were going to put on the list? Was it swimming pool mm -hmm. Did I do that correctly? No. <laughs> That's why I corrected it. <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay. All right. So I, I talked to her. I told her we had to wedge a little bit out there, and she said, okay. And she said they throw a little more material on those areas because they have tendency. If it didn't down for a long piece of it, it doesn't stick. But she's going to add a little more material with those areas. I said, okay. So I'll call her back and see if we can throw Jacoby on there. It's not very long. Yeah, it's 1,200 feet. That was a good program. 1,200? Mm, something like that. Okay. Just didn't see it. I think that's what I'll have to look. I will. <clears throat> um, yeah, because we're going to wedge after the 6th of June. We're going to get our wedging done starting at the 6th. Mm -hmm. Try to get it done before that. She said they'd get us probably mid to late July. Which would be a nice time for to lay down. Mm -hmm. That's a cure a little bit. You know? mm -hmm. so that's what we're going to do, and then uh, hopefully next week I'll start moving ditches. Jumped up pretty fast, didn't it? Yeah. <laughs> God, that's amazing, isn't it? I know, I told you. <laughs> Give it a week or two. <laughs> Just sit there and watch it. All the grass. Yeah. You know, like, it's yeah. crazy. It's grasses, trees, bushes. Every day. Mm -hmm. I'm not complaining. It's just, I can't keep up with it. I don't have anything else to do. Uh, anything for her? Nope. Uh, no. Okay, let's see. This stuff, sir. Mm -hmm. I don't really have much to say. Um, <laughs> I don't have any resolutions. Um, it, when you asked about how much, why is there still money in the, um, in, or the, the balance in our Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, it's it's simply that we've you know any money that's in that account is money that has I mean and, and the revenue you know anything that's in there is what we is money that we've already spent and we get reimbursed for it and so we just it's kind of like I think when we, we first. Um, I remember when we first got the three hundred six thousand dollars. That included what we had spent the previous year and what we had already spent um, uh, up to. It's just money that's just um, it's just there. It's just money that's we've been reimbursed for. Okay, well then it needs to go back into where it originally came from if it's reimbursed. Well, but it was coming coming from. Well, we already reimbursed the general fund. Okay, well somebody needs to be reimbursed one hundred forty nine thousand dollars. Well, um, it's fire fund, EMS, <clears throat> cemetery. No, 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 no. None, none of the money ever came out of any of those other funds. Okay. Only came out of the general fund. So, well, my understanding is that some of this money is going to be going towards paying off the loan, paying off the um, the it's for the construction costs as they come along. It doesn't make sense to you. No, because the way it was explained to me is. USDA would not authorize one penny from the federal tre treasury to be transferred into our bank account unless they had a, a, an unpaid invoice in their little pods. No, a paid invoice. 
No, we have unpaid to, we, employees. We, uh, you're right. We, they won't give us any money unless we have already paid for it. Or not paid for it. No, we, we will not get any money unless they, we pay for it and show them. This is, I mean, I've done this a couple of times now, and we have to, I have to send them the invoice and the canceled check that we dispersed to pay it for that bill. Okay. Uh, then I, they'll give us money back. Okay, I won't argue with that, but when the time comes that they actually start building this thing, mm -hmm. and we have our monthly meeting, mm -hmm. and the contractors all come to us with their, with their invoices, mm -hmm. and Ashley sits there and goes, yes, no, thumbs up, thumbs down, you get paid, you don't get paid, we're not paying any of those people until the following until the following meeting because he's going to go home and he's going to take the ones that he approves and he's going to send them to Columbus and Columbus is going to send them to Washington and Washington's going to send us the invoices? money. Yeah, the invoices from the contractors. Those contractors haven't been paid a dime mm -hmm. when we're sitting at this meeting. They have right. to justify they, the work yeah, that they, they have did. To, yeah. Okay. But what we're doing now, it, maybe that's exactly what you're saying. But I still don't understand where that's hundred forty nine thousand dollars is sitting there that's been reimbursed, oh. and we don't know where it got reimbursed to. What do you mean to? The general fund, the fire fund, the EMS fund? We, it wouldn't have been reimbursed. The, the money that, <clears throat> out of the $306,000 and change that was originally, in, that we originally got, right? Remember? The $306. Yeah, $306,000. Yeah, but that all represented monies that have been paid to somebody. Yes. Okay. And half of it, generally, was uh, we, the general fund had dispersed in 2017. Got it. So, so, that's I, so I put it back in the general fund. Okay, now the other half, where does it go? Right where it is. <laughs> we paid money out of that capital fund. Once we got money, we paid out of it. I haven't, I have, there's only two places I've pulled money from. For, for the expenses towards this project, the general fund and, and the capital fund. I'll show you. Okay. I, 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 that was the plan all along. I mean, we even had a, a, an I you know, remember we set up a line item in the, ca in the general fund mm -hmm. to keep, so I could keep track of everything that we, you know, that we spent. Right. And, okay. we got, and we got reimbursed for that. Mm -hmm. I understand. Yeah. But there's still $149,000 that's unaccounted for. It's not unaccounted for. Okay, I would I would like to see what we paid. Meet me here tomorrow. On the, <laughs> on the 149. I'm about a flat boat. <laughs> okay, to, to another subject, as long as we're on fiscal officers. Yeah, why not? At, at our last meeting, we um, authorized a $5,000 payment to the village of Yellow Springs yeah, and I forgot for the Yellow Springs that. Clifton 343 yeah. connector. So if we could put, perhaps. Yeah, anytime. Put that in the. Right after this meeting, if you want. The reimbursement pile. Not that we ever survive. Well, somewhere. <laughs> um, we we could do it now or later. I mean, the, the, they're not going to spend it, but it's the thought that counts. Well, yes, so. I, I apologize. You know, I, already, I remember we, putting it in the We've already voted on that, so we don't have to. No, I just need to do it, so um, I can do it with the next payroll. Okay, that, that's okay. That's fine. All right, I'm going to be trying to open myself. What else? Nothing for me. Nothing. Nothing for me. Oh. All right. Anything for me? All right. Uh, zoning and or zoning businesses, I think we're out of zoning business tonight. Move that along. Um, all right, past meetings, uh, let's see, NBRPC. We met last, uh, beginning of the month, uh, did a performance review for the executive director and gave him a little bump in his salary, went over some transportation issues. Uh, uh, did some more regional, regional stuff. Interesting regional planning. We hired a new um, executive director for regional planning. Kevin LeBlanc will be leaving uh, July 6th, I believe, his last day. Uh, we've hired a man named Devin Shoemaker from Ross Township, Chillicothe area. Mm. We'll be taking over. Um, John on the. Um, seems like a good fit. Uh, solid background and everything that Green County does. It's just he does it on a small scale and he's coming to a to an operation that does it on a large scale. We do it on a large scale, but he has 
two employees where he is now, and he will have two employees <laughs> doing five times the work. Uh, so hopefully, and he's going to drive back and forth to Chillicothe daily, which daily? Won't, won't, won't get too old too soon. Mm -hmm. That's a good hour and a half or so. It's an hour. Yeah. He says 50 minutes, but so he must toot right along. You can clip right along on 35 mm -hmm. here on the stretch. Yeah. Um, it's like East Coast for new times. Yeah, I used to get to Columbus. It seems like half the town does. Um, yeah, I think you're right. Nothing, nothing going on at the mill that I can think of, and that's my part. Uh, apparently, Mark's not gone to the ESC meeting, so I'll we'll put that on hold. And there has not been a cemetery meeting. You're holding up on that. So cool. On we go. Moving right along, as they say. So we have. Um, uh, well, I don't know where this goes. New business or old business? Um, Tell us, and we'll decide for you. This is. We were. We were uh, asked to review census data for the local volunteer census something, Luca, <laughs> and uh, they gave us the disk with all the addresses on it to check over, and so I did that, and there was about 50 of them, and some were good and some were bad, and so we did that, and it's supposed to be done by Friday, so hopefully I can remember to take it to the regional planning meeting tomorrow night and ask Ken to give it to them. Zoe, the IT girl, lady. So what did you consult? I mean, they, they had 50 that they were wondering about? or Yes, they took Luca's data and compared it, don't ask me how to do this, compared it to all the addresses they have in their GIS file mm -hmm. for all of Miami Township and filtered it out and sorted it out and, and pulled out all the stuff that looked obviously, well, this is wrong because such and such. And what was left with, for us was like these 50 addresses. And they asked us to check them out, see what's going on. So I just started down the list and, and put them all in the, in the county GIS system as a parcel or an address. Uh, and it either came up as, most of them came up as uh, Funnel parcels that were attached to something, so there's no house on it, and so there's no need for the census to get involved with it. Uh, a few of them were, a few of them were the, uh, the the Glen Building and the O Dot Building and the Boy Scout stuff, and none of those count because there's no one living there, you know, in those. Mm -hmm. uh, some there was a half a dozen of them that were in uh, in Bath Township, but in a Dayton Yellow Springs. Uh, road address, so apparently the you know the little pointer just kept going over the line for for little ways. Dayton Yellow Springs has crazy addresses. Yeah. So anyway, that that got done. Um, so what what category would that have been? Old old news or new? That sounds news? not old news. Okay, so what's the category? Old news. Uh, you brought it up before. And new news is. Do you have any old business? No. <laughs> New business? Uh, I don't think I asked you, but uh, you need to search your memory banks and, and your, and your, and your um, uh, contacts in the vast Miami township. I've been known to forget things. For, <laughs> for, a, new, for a new BZA member and a new play, zoning commission alternate. We need one of each. Okay. We are one short on BZA, and the, the Zoning Commission is fully staffed with five, but it's always nice to have an alternate when available. And over the years, I have, <laughs> I have milked every single acquaintance I have <laughs> and pigeonholed them for, <laughs> for being on either of those boards. And so I'm <laughs> kind of tapped out on, on willing. Uh, yeah. And in case I didn't realize it, but the BZA doesn't meet on a monthly basis. Or a yearly basis. It's just when there's a P Just appeal. when someone wants to do it, yeah. Request it. Variants. Yeah, variants. Yeah, uh, okay, so that takes care of that, and it takes care of that. And the, the last one I have, and this is, uh, this is probably, this might be new business. I mean, yeah. I, I have a mi minor item when we get to it. 
I've been asked by a, a relative, a relative, a resident, to look into the possibility of having Spectrum provide high-speed internet service to my township on incorporated areas. And I said, okay. <laughs> Uh, and uh, he says he's called 50 or 100 times to try and get it, you know, try and get them to do that. And they tell him, well, they need to, con I, he needs to have the township contact Spectrum in order for, to. For what? High speed? Yeah, high speed internet. To, so, to, does to run anybody cables. have high speed? No, not. Very few people have high speed. What do I have? I don't know. Well, what does anybody have when you have a computer? Some of the, more, some of the rural areas, areas I mean, like where Amy used to live on Clifton Road, mm -hmm. you don't have there's no okay. cable at all. Yeah. And AT&T only has selected areas that they're in universe internet. Yeah, yeah okay, that's what, that's, what, that's what we have. AT&T, it's a, but it's a wireless, you know, I can go anywhere in the house with my mm -hmm. laptop. Mm -hmm. It's kind of slow, but... I would be interested in investigating that further. Sure. So, which phone number is what? Oh. Who's that? Is? This is Bart Bartley's phone number, and this is his email address. So, updates. This is who requested that that's, we that's correct. call yes. Spectrum. A man who lives on Swimming Pool Road and does business out of his house uh, and has been trying to get high speed internet and has called Spectrum many times. And they've said, you just have to call the main office and get the process rolling where the township does something. He didn't know what the township would do. Well, then I'll call him and ask who has he been contacting at Spectrum. And yeah, he that. doesn't have a contact. Oh, okay. He just has, he just calls the main number. Okay. I was, I know. I was hoping for a contact. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. I know a few things. Good. That's what we need. Somebody in the know. No, I'm not saying I'm in the know. I know a few things. <laughs> uh, then you know a few more than is I do. You? If we're talking about this is that. new subject. It is now a new subject. Uh, this wrong. is hardly an item for a formal meeting, but our U.S. flag out there is pretty tattered. Oh, is it? Oh my! Uh, what does it take to get a new flag? Oh, I'll go with Betsy Ross, Act of Congress, and. Uh, you guys know what? I mean, it just yeah, I see it as you walk by the sidewalk. We will take care of that tomorrow. I just hope that one doesn't sit around in this meeting room the, the six years or eight years <laughs> that the last one did. Uh, you should go to our room. We've got about five old flags and no one knows what to do with them. Uh, there are formal ways of well, retiring yeah. a flag. There was, there was flag re- Retirement day in Green County. Remember we had that meeting oh, and Gene right, Fisher, yeah. which is, is long past, but well, yeah, there's a way as a whole ceremony and you confirm it. We've got it looks like there's been a mass murder around here because there's always flags nicely folded. <laughs> well But we will take care of this. All right. That is a piece of new business. Do you want an American flag or something? <laughs> uh, yes. <I'm> <laughs> Anything else before the board? Hearing that, I'd entertain a motion to adjourn. I so move. By acclamation, it is. Look at that. It's like.